Okay, guys, we're going to make beautiful regatta ravioli. Now, i got to make it fast because I know my husband's going to come home famished. Let's do this. Now, if you want the perfect, when I say perfect, I mean perfect texture pasta. You can't use regular flour. I mean, I do at times, especially if I don't have enough semolina, I am going to use uh, half semolina and half, um, half flour. Um, if you're making a thick dough, um, like if you roll it out by hand, you can use flour. You're good. just flour if you want to. But if you really want to be safe and always get that pasta right, you do need semolina. And if you do it just semolina, you can make your pasta as thin as you want. And your pasta is going to have the best elasticity ever. Now I'm trying to struggle. You're trying to open my package. I'll show you the one I have. If you're in Montreal, you can go get it. You could. Oh, sorry. If you're in Montreal, you could get it at Akavan. Oh, I'm showing you. That's where I get it, and it's a nice, fine, fine semolina. You don't want the thick one because. Uh, with that thicker semolina, you can make something like a polenta or, you know, there's other things you can use. You can use it in bread. You can make other other recipes. But if you want to make a pasta, you need the very fine semolina. Okay, and that's the beautiful derm semolina. Okay, so here we go. I'm only going to make a small batch of pasta, which would be basically... Uh, two cups of flour because I'm making ravioli and they're going to be stuffed with regatta and they're going to be filling So we really don't need to stuff our face. Okay, so we're going to put two cups of flour And if you have more usually I just eyeball my flour and liquids But to give you guys a recipe, I am measuring it for you Okay There we go my flour that's 100% durum semolina, and that's it. There's no white, there's no flour whatsoever, regular wheat flour. It's just durum semolina that I'm going to be using. Okay, I've got my dough hook, and I'm going to put some salt to this. Very simple. To make pasta is very simple. And because durum is such a beautiful color, you don't even... Uh, it's going to be a nice yellow pasta. You don't even have to worry. Oh, I don't have eggs. Well, you don't need eggs. Trust me. You can make beautiful pasta that holds on perfectly, that has a good structure, and uh, it has a nice little al dente bite to it. So you really don't need the egg. I'm trying to put it where you guys can see it. Okay, so lock it in. And I'm going to put this on, and I'm going to start adding water. You want your dough to be... Uh, pretty firm. So I'm going to turn this on guys and I'm going to start adding some water. Okay, and now I've got one cup of water but I'm going to use it a little at a time. I'm going to do a half a cup to start off with. Because if you make it too wet then you're going to be stuck uh, adding more flour, which isn't the end of the world. You could always repair it. If it's too wet, add more flour. If it's too dry, add a drop of water, a little at a time. Okay, I just want to show you. Let me just, yeah. I just want to show you my dough. There it is. Beautiful. And if you look, I still have some water left. Remember, just play by ear. That was two cups of flour, one cup of water, but I didn't use all the water. So always add it a little bit of time. A, a little bit at a time. So this way you don't uh, make your dough too, too soft. You want a nice firm dough. So we're going to just let this rest just a little bit. And while this is resting, 
I am going to wilt down some spinach because we're going to make our rigata. Sorry for the shaky guys. We're going to make a rigata spinach, um, a rigata spinach filling. So I'm just going to put this aside for now. There we go. And like I said, I'm making a small batch only because with the filling, it is going to be very satisfying and we don't need to, uh, we don't need to make so much of it. Okay, so while that's sitting, uh, I am going to put my sauce aside. By the way, this is my beautiful sauce I made earlier today. And I did put up a little hint on my uh, Patreon account and usually people who subscribe to me, um, they get to see all these kitchen tips that I put up there. So if you want to go give that a look, go ahead and be part of the community there. And uh, I'm going to put some nice, nice content there. I'm also going to put my, what I call my kitchen witchery. And that is all the little hints and tips that I use every day in my kitchen to make my life a lot easier. So those are going to go up on uh, my Patreon account. But there's my beautiful sauce I made earlier. And I'm just going to put this aside. And I'm going to get my spinach. And I'm going to wilt it down and then mix that with my regatta. So I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, here's my spinach, beautiful baby spinach. I like using that best because it's a very nice tender spinach. And I know a lot of people boil it. I remember my mom used to boil her spinach, but you know what, Ma? She's not around to see it, but this makes life a lot easier and tastier. What I'm going to do is just put this with no oil on the burner and these are going to wilt down perfect for me there we go and then we're going to chop this up so i'll see you in a little bit i'm just going to cover it with a lid there we go here we go i'm going to get a bowl to put my regatta in just to show you again here's one regatta it's got still has the paper towel underneath there it is. And look how beautiful that agata is. Beautiful. My husband has been enjoying this in the morning. He puts a little bit of jam on his toast. And there you go. And there's my other agata that I made. This is the one that's done the longer procedure. This is the one that's done in half the time, really. So I've got two recipes for you guys. If you want to go the long way, if you want to go the short way. And someone again asked me today, I don't have any cup of carrageenan. Do I need it? No, you don't. Make your mixture. Hold on, let me just mix this. Turn that off. There we go. Okay, I turned off the heat because just the heat alone with the lid, my spinach is going to wilt down. Okay, so you don't have the cup of carrageenan. Again, leave it out. Uh, just make your mixture, put a, put your mixture in a Tupperware container or a little ceramic container. And then paper towels, this one's already wet. I could change it, but now it's already at a perfect, I'm not sure if you can see it, perfect texture. So I really don't need to change my paper towel. It's wet, but it still will do what it has to do. So I'm just going to put it back there and back into the fridge, leaving the paper towel there. And my husband uses it as he needs it. <clears throat> Here is my spinach just wilting down without even having the burner on. I turned it on high heat and then I just put it back down. I just turned it off and let the um, let it cook just with the heat of my burner. Okay, so here's my regatta. And I am going to put some in here. And if you make too much, remember it's not the end of the world. If you have too much mixture made, you could always use it in something else. So don't feel bad and say, well, what am I going to do with the rest of the, 
of the mixture with the spinach. It's not the end of the world, guys. Okay, we're going to start off with half of my container. And there's my spinach. You see how it wilted down without having the, the burner on? I'm just going to keep the lid. It's going to wilt a little more. And then I'm going to try and squeeze out a little bit of water because we don't want it watery. We're just going to squeeze it a bit and we're going to use that mixture in this. So I am just going to put this aside for now. There's my spinach all wilted. And the best part is that I didn't boil the vitamins out of this mixture. See? I did not boil. But look, it still made water. Now I want to remove some of that water. Because if I add that water to my raviolis, it's going to be a mess. So you do want to remove some of the liquid. Now, do not throw away that liquid. Put it in a little glass and drink it while you're doing what you're doing. I'm just going to use a bowl for now. And I am just going to put that liquid in there. Okay. Put the water in first. Then I'm going to put this and get that water up. Okay, and just press the water out. If it cools off, I could squeeze this in my hand, but right now I'm just going to use this so I don't burn myself. Now, you say, how much spinach do I need? Well, you really don't need a lot of spinach. If you want to put a lot of spinach, you put a lot of spinach. That's The amount of spinach is really up to you. And don't, ooh, and don't waste that water. Do drink it. Okay, this is cold enough for me to use my hands now. Okay. Remember, guys, all the vitamins is in that water. There we go. I'll be right back, guys. This is good. I got most of it out. Okay, so we're going to need a cutting board. Now... What you're going to do to this regatta is really up to you. Do you want to put garlic? You put garlic. Do you want to put little bits of onion? You could do that also. Do you want to put just a tiny scoop of pesto or fresh pesto? You could do that. I'm going to put fresh pesto leaves. And here's that pesto that I've been growing. Remember that pesto that I've been growing? Out of stems. Well, look at that. You see? I'm telling you. With just a little bit of stems, you can make something beautiful grow and I'm just gonna take what I need I'm picking just the leaves this way it has a chance to grow again and put this back with the other one and what happened to my caterpillar I have no idea I had one container I put aside for my caterpillar but my caterpillar is gone I'm not sure if a cat got to them got to it if it just came out of and went across my stove in the middle of the night I have no idea where he's gone but he's gone so anyhow here's my all right, I am just going to cut some of this up and throw it in with my rigata. And I'm just using a little bit. You don't have to put that much. If you have pesto, I would say use the pesto. The thing with the pesto is that it might have oil and it's going to break up your regatta. You don't want that. So if you can get some fresh herbs, it's even better. Okay, so there's that. I'm going to get a spoon to mix that up. And just mix it up for yourself. There you go. Look at this beautiful regatta. I'm telling you, if you taste this regatta that I make from scratch... Not the fast one. The f well, the fast one tastes good too. It tastes fantastic. Not that it tastes good too. It tastes fantastic. But this one has more of that that traditional regatta feel in your mouth and also when you touch it. Okay, so there's my uh, basil. I am going to take my spinach and I'm going to cut it. Better knife maybe. Let me get another knife. Hopefully I won't lose it. Go. Cutting this. You're gonna cut it up. There we go. And then this other way. And 
believe we're going to put this in there. Okay. And you say, oh, that's so little. But you really don't need that much filling when you make raviolis. Otherwise, your raviolis are going to bust. Look at that. Beautiful spinach. Rigata for our raviolis. Okay. To this, we're going to put some of my grated cheese. And my cheese recipe is also up if you're interested. It's just a cashew cheese that I use. And now because my cashew cheese already has garlic in it, I am not worried about adding garlic to my mixture. And how much did I use? I used about maybe a tablespoon of it. There you go. And there's my filling. Now I'm going to put this in the fridge in a smaller container because my fridge is packed guys just taste it oh my god you know what it's not the first time I make this I make it all the time but every time you taste it it's like it's new in your mouth mm, so good so so good you could even add extra regatta if you want and make it more regatta than spinach that really is up to you but it's perfect just the way it is put this in there and that is my filling so I'm just gonna put this away so we have a little bit of flour so we can cut our dough and we want to flour both sides otherwise when we put it through the machine it's gonna be a mess our setting always has to be on the lowest setting and then we start putting it through There we go, our dough. Make sure you flour it, that's important. And this is what I mean about putting a tablecloth on here. It just makes life a little easier for us. And just keep changing that dial. Now, if you make your dough the day before, it's even better. because the dough really gets a nice elasticity to it. And using semolina, notice how the dough is a nice yellow dough and we use no eggs, no turmeric. Not that turmeric is bad for you. If anything, turmeric is very good for you. But we didn't have to use it. Okay, we're going to use my cutting board, I'm going to flour my cutting board, and my life easier. Okay, so we're going to do half, because we're going to flip it over, or you could do uh, another sheet and then lay that on top of this. I'm going to put one there. Another one close by. There. Maybe I could sneak in one more. Hopefully, I have enough here. Maybe not. We'll see. Oh, maybe. Okay. And now you could also wet your dough if you want. And it just helps to stick better. And then I have this fancy little tool. And there's the last one. We're making them round this time. Remember, take this dough. Remember to take this dough, put it in a bag. And when you're finished doing all of this, you start over and you pass this through the machine again, low setting. 
So keep it in a container, airtight container, and it doesn't dry up on you. And we make a new, there we go. Press it down, and we start over, guys. So I'll see you once these are done, and I'll show you my plating. one container of regatta that was a full batch of regatta we made all of these beautiful beautiful ravioli and I had just a little bit of dough left and what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to simply make um, a little bit of pasta that I'm gonna keep in the fridge and if my daughter wants a lunch she simply can make a quick lunch because she will have some fresh pasta on hand. That's it, I'm just gonna flour it a bit. And it's gonna go into this section right here. Beautiful pasta. Just gonna cut that in half. I should have cut it earlier, right? And last of the dough, guys. Put that there. And some more. And that's the last of our dough. So there it is. Two cups of dough for pasta. And I'm using just semolina, where you're going to get the best, best pasta dough. And then a little bundle of pasta for my daughter. There was extra. I didn't have any more regatta. I used up all my regatta. Oh, wait. So, 59. That, that's it. 59, about 60 raviolis. And two little bundles of beautiful fettuccine, all done with semolina flour. No other flour but semolina flour. And that's it, very simple. Okay, how beautiful are these raviolis? I have a plate there. So I've got 59, so basically I got 60. I didn't have enough ricotta filling, so what I did, oh, sorry about this. I just knocked over my paper towel. So I didn't have enough uh, ricotta filling, so I ended up getting 59 instead of 60, but still 60 beautiful raviolis. Look how beautiful they are. And I had them in a cold room, so they uh, basically started to dry up on me, which is good because, you know, when it picks up some of that moisture, it's going to be easier for me to cook. And these, you could also, if you don't want to cook them all in one, one sitting, which I am because my husband, I'm sure, is going to eat most of these. I'll probably have maybe three just to taste them. My daughter's probably going to have more. But isn't this beautiful? With just two cups of flour, guys. I made that regatta. Uh, if you don't want to do regatta, you can stuff them with other things. You don't have to stuff them with regatta. But the regatta is very easy to make. I showed you two versions of the regatta. There's the one that takes a little longer where you got to drain the way out. And then there's the regatta where you don't drain nothing except use paper towels to absorb some of the moisture. And then a little bit of spinach and there you go. Beautiful, beautiful ravioli. Now guess what the best thing is, guys? My gift to you, someone is going to win a pasta machine. So that's my giveaway. Uh, I was supposed to do one last month and I kind of the month went by and I didn't get a chance. But my gift to you is a pasta machine. So um, 
don't forget comment below and uh, if there's too many I'm gonna probably have to do that uh, there's a link where I'm gonna put the uh, where I put the link of where all the comments are and it's gonna generate a name for me but I'm gonna try and do that live so you guys can see it while I'm doing it uh, but someone's gonna win a hand hand cranking it's not electric it's a hand cranking past the machine so good luck to all of you don't forget leave a comment share with your friends and you know what guys I'm gonna see you in the next video so there you go for the best tasting pasta it should be all semolina hope you like this video guy guys and don't forget comment below share with your friends come back and someone's gonna win a nice pasta machine that's for my daughter's lunch tomorrow isn't it beautiful and that's the beauty when you're using semolina it doesn't stick on you when I throw this in the water it's all gonna come apart without being stuck so there you go guys yeah don't forget guys Comment below, share with your friends, and someone's going to win. It's going to, oh, by the way, yeah, it's going to be a two-week draw. So as of today, uh, in two weeks' time, we're going to pull out uh, the name of who's going to win this pasta machine, and that's a gift from me, no one else. And it's unfortunately, it's probably going to be just Canada and the U.S. again, but I promise you, probably by next week or the week after that, I'm going to have another one since I missed February. And I'm gonna have a uh, I'm gonna have a giveaway that goes everywhere. So for now, unfortunately, it's just Canada and the U.S. But good luck to all of you. Vegan wine, isn't that beautiful? It's gonna go great with our pasta tonight. So good luck to all of you, and I'll see you in my next video. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawson Kitchen. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.